Bariatric surgery is also known as weight loss surgery, and Crestwood Medical Center bariatric surgeon Dr. Jay Suggs has big news they've been awaiting for 30 years, which is the new guidelines for one to achieve or have bariatric surgery. The American Society for Metabolic and Bariatric Surgery has finally come out with its long-awaited new guidelines in which that BMI criteria has gone down by about five points. So now one only needs a BMI of 35, which is in the morbid obesity range, to be able to qualify for bariatric surgery. Dr. Suggs says bariatric surgery qualifications are based primarily on body mass index, which takes into account one's height and weight. Not just 100 pounds overweight, but but you know, somewhere between 70 and 150 pounds overweight, depending on how tall you are. Dr. Suggs says also, now surgery can be offered to patients with a BMI as low as 30. So 30 to 34.9 does need an obesity-related comorbidity, but the comorbidity has uh, become more liberal, such that it can be anything from severe acid reflux to type 2 diabetes, to severe joint pain and arthritis. So, so we've opened it up literally to millions of more people who would qualify and benefit from bariatric surgery. Bariatric surgery patients Shannon Layton says she didn't have any coexisting conditions before having bariatric surgery and that's a part of the reason she reached out for help. So I did not have any um, comorbidities um, at the time but I knew that I was headed that direction if I didn't get help. Layton says she's lost about 115 pounds since October 2020. Um, the I guess the highlight would be my mental health is so much better. Layton says her experience since having her surgery has been so life-changing and if you have the opportunity to do it and you have the weight to lose, I would encourage you to do it. Dr. Sugg says the process to bariatric surgery is an extensive workup with lots of testing and interviewing. Doctors also always recommend consulting with your physician first.